So, in case you're wondering, we've left the house. I want to show you how we did, how I did, photo girl power, the electric hookup. Bing! Electric. Like, it's really that hard. It's Stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, follow along on this journey with us, and see how I did the electric. What are you doing out the back of the garage? What are you doing? You stay. You cannot jump that far. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You stay. Where's Ozzy? Oh, there he is. Hi, Ozzy. You guys coming out the garage? Look at Bobby in the background. Here is the 14 2 gauge. This is with all of the outlets. Again, this is what. I am doing it. That doesn't mean I'm an electrician or this is what you should do. This is a ground wire. Sometimes it's encasing green or it's just the copper wire. The ground goes into the ground bar that we put in. Let's see if I can show you that. There's the ground bar. This is the neutral. This feeds electricity back to the mainframe. This is hot. Now, none of this is turned on, so I can't get electrocuted. We added that because we've got the four wire system. This is a 50 amp 6.3 wire that comes in. Black is hot, red is hot. We have two hots. White is still neutral and copper or green is still ground. This has room for eight breakers. This is just simply to go shore hookup. So this 14-2 wire hooks up to, this is 15, 15 amp breaker. No electricity going to this. I put the hot wire in the breaker. I put the neutral over here to the neutral bar. So that goes that way. And then I put the ground over here to the ground bar. That goes that way. Take my wire strippers. Okay, so I am literally going about an inch up and then I pull that off. I've exposed the wire, the copper on the inside. Keep the wire straight. Right here you see the screw. We tip it up to the side. You see that hole right there? The wire is going to slip into that and then we tighten the screw down. A little scared. So the key is, when you wiggle the wire, it does not move. By the way, that was the best whistle I've ever done in my whole life. If I can do it twice. Really, that was awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to plug the. I want to put this on and see if um, it works. I'm very nervous. I, 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 I gotta clean up. Why? Because I'm gonna return this POS. Yuck. It's supposed to be really easy. The hardest part, I think, it's muscling it in. Let me put this right here. Even with the other piece, the hardest part is making sure that I Put the screws down tight enough that they're not going to come loose. It's important to make sure everything is nice and tight. This is going back to Lowe's. $20 POS. Okay, let's come around and see what we've got. I've got a half hole. And then Jim left. Half of a hole. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. If Jim was here, he'd be telling it. <laughs> uh, he's gonna get the bit for this, so should I wait? I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I should just go ahead and do it. 
My daughter says I take on too much. The more I do, the more I have to do. She pro Sierra, she probably would tell me, Mom, no, wait for Jim. <laughs> but I really wanna get the electric done. What should I do? Comment below. Should I wait or should I go for it? If I go for it, I don't know what I'm going for it with. I don't even know what tool. You see these hands? These are not the delicate, I get my nails done hands that I used to have. <sighs> Look how dirty the nails are. Curse you, drill bit. In very sharp corners of these boxes, I'm gonna tell you. So I'm being super, super dumb. <laughs> I forgot that Jim has got some wood drill bits because I've been working with so much metal that I didn't think I had the bit. Look at that ugly hole I've been doing. Okay, let's do it. That's a much better hole. Moment of truth. Oh, beautiful. Get That's not what you did. I know. I don't like drinking out of a squeeze bottle. I don't either. Oh. Oh. Okay, I got it. Sure. No. <laughs> Hydrate. Here we go. Oh, snap. What we got here. going on? Tell me. Dude, you're out here, Asheville. They're about to leave with the bus. They got some bread from Hominy Farm, yo. Why haven't Hominy, you been Hominy. to Hominy Farm yet? Why haven't you got your wood fired sourdough bread with fresh milled flour, yo? How'd you learn how to make bread? How did I learn how to make bread? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Are we allowed to see what you look like? Yeah, you? sure. Take that. There we go. His orthodontist would be proud. Don't <laughs> yeah, you yeah. think he needs a YouTube channel? Yeah, of course. soon. Yeah, we're going to be putting a YouTube channel soon. Who's the chick with you? Can I get her this in? my partner. Yeah, it's my partner, Sydney. We've hey, been together the, for 12 years. Take the phone. you got to give right, her a little video of her and her yeah. family. Yo, what up? Hey, how's it going? Dude, what up? What up? That's his bag. Dude, Sydney, she wants, she wants us to be in a YouTube video, do you? There you <laughs> go. Chili beans. Tomato, onion, garlic, all local. Right, right. Blueberry streusel. Yeah. Uh, stuffed squash blossom with plant-based peas and hot pepper mash from Sweet Brian down the way. Um, and then totally the being, being videoed videos. right now, girly. All right, all right. So blueberries <laughs> and streusel. Yeah. Streusel. Yeah. Green bean, tomato, onion, garlic stewed down for quite a bit of time. It's from Nubia. Yeah. Mm. How can you go wrong? You can't go wrong. No. no. You really can't. What's, what's one you want? So this is where we gotta cut. It's the outside circle, by the way. Okay, first off, this thing shakes you like crazy. I can barely see. Because it's so loud, and I guess the dogs inside are going crazy. It's so loud. And then I've now gone through my second blade. Look you. how it tears up the outside of this bus. Probably should have cut the holes before we painted. Oh my God. That is a beast. <laughs> Small hole, check it out. There it is. My little helper. Isn't he sweet? Ozzy likes to hang out in the garage and help me. I think he feels safe from the other doggies. Ozzy, pretty boy. <laughs> so here is the actual plug that I totally fell in love with and ended up putting on the bus for our 50 amp shore power. So we've got it. That's what it looks like. Pretty self-explanatory when it comes to red is hot, black is hot, green is ground, white is neutral. We've got green or ground, which is just your saint, your plain copper wire. We've got black, that's hot. 
You've got red, that's hot. And you've got your white, which is neutral. Look at, there's my Ozzy. Okay, so this is, you can see in there, that is a twist lock. That is a 50 amp twist lock. The difference between the, this is a 6.3 or 6.4 wiring, depends what they call it. There's four wires in there. They usually don't count the ground, so it's a 6.3. But you gotta watch it. If you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, you gotta watch. Really, I went to electrical. Jim and I went to electrical company to do this. I gotta be honest, the guy was a complete prick. Can I say that? He was an ass. I had a couple questions and he was condescending and rude. I guess I can only figure because I was a layman and I was a woman, double whammy. Psh. Seriously, the guy was younger than me. What is your problem? Anyway, ladies, yes, you can do this. There's nothing lifting heavy. It's just trying not to cut yourself with a knife. <laughs> I think I can match a red wire to a red hole. I don't know. It doesn't seem like rocket science. Oh, These yeah. are a type of screw with a flat head top. They come with your plug. They go into the sides. Every, every wire has got one of these. After stripping the wire, you put your wire into the hole and then you ratchet it down with these right here. First things first, we have to strip the wire. How do we do that? Wire strippers. I gotta tell you, I have used these things for everything. Through the back hole, put your wires together. Try not to bend any of the copper. Put it onto your cord and just wait it out. This is really cool. They do have this for a 30 amp. And what's awesome for me, yes, I know some of you schooly people are like, 50 amp, that's kind of overkill. Yeah, it might be. So we did a 50 amp because we wanted to run a freezer, a refrigerator, a hot water heater. Um, Jim wasn't sure about going with gas when it comes to the hot water heater. And so, you know, at the time when we bought this, it was important to do all of these things, air conditioning. You know, we want all of it. As my mother would say, I want my cake and I want to eat it too. I never understood that saying. If you're gonna have cake, why wouldn't you want to eat it? Of course you want to eat it. I digress. <sighs> See, I need a haircut. I need a haircut. Right now, I don't know what, like I can cut my own hair, but I need a mirror. I don't have that. This right here has got brackets. This and this now will close together and I will screw those together and it will hold all these wires nice and tight and in place. Keep your wires tight. And then all of this will slide into that piece. Ta-da! On the sides, tiny little screws. One right there, one right there. So that holds this back piece in place. There's some wire strippers, a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, that looks like a star. Phillips head screwdriver. Flathead screwdriver. I have my box cutter. What I love about this thing is the simplicity of it. Holy Moses. It doesn't get any easier than that. If, you can, if you're not colorblind, because that's important, because red's got to go with red. It's just, it's just, just don't get around that. Again, they have this for the 30 amp. I'm going to put the links below for that, okay? Just so you guys have them, the links are below. Okay, so let me give you the finished product. The electrical cord is in. The outlet is in. Um, this is what the adapter looks like. So that's a 30 amp. That's a 30 amp. Let me show you. Oh, they're so hard to get on and off. Okay. Which is on purpose, by the way. 
Okay, so that is a 50 amp. So you've got four right there. That is a 50 amp. So this is an adapter. I got this at Walmart, you guys, for like six or seven bucks. This right here, 50 amp extension cord. I will put the link down below to the one, exact one I use. So it's got this so I can grab it better and pull it out. So this can plug into a 50 amp generator. This can plug into 50 amp shore power. If shore power or the generator, like ours, is a 30 amp, then you literally get this adapter for six or seven dollars. It's 50 on one side, 30 on the other. Kind of like business in the front, party in the back. I know, I just showed my age. You know, whatever. This is the cord. See how long it is? This, my friends, is where it goes in. Now I've got to do a little painting, so ignore that. No big, nothing paint in a sandpaper can't fix. Not in that order. So this twists on. Twists. I'm gonna pull that off. And then I pull. That is a 50 amp twist connection. Okay. That's what this is. It goes in and it twists and it locks. So nothing's gonna mess with it. I like that. Ta-da! Doesn't that look great? Okay, the never-ending saga. So here is our adapter from 50 amp to 30 amp. Say hi to Jim. Hi to Jim. <laughs> that does not match that. Ugh. Okay, so we know the name of what it is that we need. It is a 30 amp twist lock generator adapter. 30 amp twist lock generator adapter. It goes from the 30 amp normal to the 30 amp into your generator. Holy cow, there's so many steps to this. Yep. Jim's on fire with comedia novelty things right now. <laughs> right now. Yep. Currently 92 degrees and 90% humidity. Welcome to the Carolinas. If you don't like to sweat, don't go don't, outside. Don't come in down the here. Carolinas in the summertime. Three stores later, where'd we go? Northern Tool. They didn't have it. Walmart. Walmart. They didn't have it. Lowe's. Oh yeah, Lowe's. They did. They did have it. Not in stock. Not in stock. Oh yeah. Ace Hardware. Finally, so four stores later, we finally went to Ace Hardware. Ace is the place. So there it is. That's the twist lock, and that's the 30 amp adapter, and then we got to put our 50 amp into that. It was easier to do the roof raise. The generators have the 30 amp twist lock. Unless you get a big mamba jamba, then you can go 50 amp right in and have enough power to. How many? Power like. Three that was a boxes. generator, gener like a regular yeah, it was a generator. 10,000 watt generator. Big. Like redonkulous. It was five thousand pounds. It was three thousand dollars. Three grand. Yeah. Which is more than we've spent on the bus. Total, so, so not, far. Not buying a generator worth more than my bus. Meet you at the house, and we'll test this thing out. Totally nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Totally nervous. Here we go. Okay. I just plugged it in. <sighs> it worked! Princess, what do you think?
first things first, if you're still watching right now, bravo. I want to thank you. I know this was a much longer video than I normally do. So we want to just thank you for coming along, hitting the subscribe button, coming along on this journey with us. We have no idea where we're going to end up going and where we're going to end up exploring and how the bus is going to end up looking. I want to give you a sneak peek. We got a couple extra things in here. I don't know if you can see it. There's even a refrigerator. We're starting to feel like it's a little less construction and a little more home every single day. So we'll see you next Saturday.